as often as I can. Limit, yeah. Um, yeah, I use it at home with the kids. I use it at work with my colleagues. Um, I use it texting my mates. I wish I knew more. When I was younger at primary school, we did use it. Um, I guess it was part of the curriculum at home and not now. I don't really utilise it much of my life. Um, uh, no, possibly. Yeah, 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 possibly. It's getting around to it, isn't it? A little bit at work, a little bit at home. My daughter studies uh, at Bayfield and she's done it for the last two terms, so we kind of obliged to it. It's quite good. And it's good to have the eyes open to it. I think the young ones would that are still learning it at school. I think it's great. I was in a shop just recently, just today, and heard somebody speaking in Maori, which is quite cool. Yeah. Yes. No. I know a little bit, but not very much. I'm an American, uh, but it's interesting because I'm actually here uh, as a guest of the Maori Studies Program, so I'm very much in favour of the uh, celebration of the Maori language. I use Te Reo Māori quite often by accident because it's entrenched in my vocabulary um, and it's also part of my responsibility to um, use it because I'm the great, 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 I think it's that many greats, granddaughter of the chieftainess of Nautahu at the time of colonisation, or around that time, after her brother was killed. So yes, I use Te Reo Māori in... A lot of different situations, including work, which is strange for my workmates because I now live in Melbourne. A little bit, because I did um, an early childhood degree and I learnt it through that, but um, I don't use a lot of it in everyday language. But um, yeah, so I do, I can speak a little bit. At school, 